So I'm so thankful that I'm still living now. Some days before, I had a very high, heavy attack in my head, and I was a little bit smashed, and I couldn't walk anymore. And uh, so I was praying to Radha and Krishna that it all becomes good. And so I saw so much things inside of me. So I'm, I'm, I'm wondering that I'm still living because my forefathers realized a lot of war. And so all these fears was inside of me, is inside of me too. And I have to, to be in yoga practice in Saucha to clean, to purify in the moment my whole karmas. So I'm so thankful that I'm still here and can sing for you, that it is better now. I had a good support, that I'm good. And um, so I think it is very important to clean all, all uh, our, yeah, our old karma that we can serve better to Radha and Krishna. <laughs> so, and I'm so thankful that I'm going through all the painful things too. Maybe once I can serve due to this better for them. So thank you that I can share it with you because I know when I share it with you, it is in good hands. So, and I need some God brothers who are thinking sometimes good at me <laughs> that I can, can live here in this material nature <laughs> who has so much things. And yeah, th three days it was really very, very painful for me to see what happened in all this war position in my family. And now, due to the mercy of Radha and Krishna and all of you, I'm better. And um, But three days I was really flat and I saw this pastime. Thank you that I can share it with you. If you have a, a little prayer sometimes for me that I can get healthy again, that my health can be better, uh, I'm very thankful to you. <laughs> Well, Madhuri, we are also happy that you are here with us. I don't and know. We need cannot to... hear others here. So we pray for your good health. Ah, oh, thank you. Now I can hear you. Sorry. Thank you. And usually uh, when this happens, Madhuri Gurudev always says that it goes away, that this old past impressions, they are going away when they come so strongly. The sign that yes. it's going Thank you. I had to cry it all out. Huh? I was now three days crying, always, non-stop, to, to give it up. Mm -hmm. And I'm very thankful that, really, that I can give it up and can cry it out because what I am with all this stuff in the background, huh? Mm -hmm. So, so I, I need purification, really. I think it's a nice what you telling that you have to work it out. This is exactly what is our job as uh, devotees. Because all our forefathers will be liberated if we are successful in our spiritual life. You have the power in you to free them from all the suffering. And not only your forefathers or our forefathers, also my job and Suniti's job, we all have forefathers who are great warriors. 
uh, Jayananda also. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, Guru Dev, everybody has this kind of forefathers who uh, who was pressed to fight or uh, who had to fight or who liked to fight, whatever. And also we are in a, in a kind of war here in this life. Everybody has to fight for his life, existence. existence. And, uh, but we are, what you also say, Madhuri, we are so lucky in, in a position that we, right, that we got something in our hearts to liberate us and all others, family, everybody who knows us, we can pray for them. And uh, our prayer, if we are connected to Krishna and to Radharani, they are, uh, they find the open ear because yeah. we are connected. And so you have a great power in you, uh, Madhuri, to, yes, you. to do this. Thank you for your blessings. For me, it was a deep, deep forgiving to all the things now. Three sure. days non-stop forgiving now. Oh my God, yes. And I saw, okay. I saw maybe we did all the things pastimes too. And um, so sure. I have no distance to them. Yeah. yeah. Yes, these are the, the steps we have to walk uh, to come on the point where we are now. And uh, even if these steps are painful, if we can realize this, that it is a problem <laughs> somehow, yeah. then we can stop this. We are able to stop this process in this material world. And you see, if you see this now so dramatically, then you see it right. Because it is a drama and it is uh, an important thing that we use our few days that we are here. So uh, for this, to liberate others and ourselves, and not only liberate, we bring them on higher levels. And this is a big power we have inside us. That is much more power than all the weapons in this world has. Even the atom power, they cannot change the, the, the uh, reactions of the karma and nothing. They cannot liberate anyone, soul, uh, because they are not working on the soul level. But Madhuri, we do. Yes, we I'm very happy. A, I really see there is a big prayer behind. This big sure. prayer is, please, from our heart, Radha and Krishna, let, let us help all living entities to get in the original position of love to you. So, and we can give this really to others when we are purified. And uh, before, oh, sure. we make sometimes mistakes when we are not purified. So we do this and that, and we react sometimes on things and think, oh, no, this was good, this was not good. But when, by the mercy of Radha and Krishna, when we get purification mm. more and more, we will um, reduce our reactions and our reactive uh, works with others. I, I pray for your blessings, really, that I can help the persons mm. around me to get more her real, authentic love to God, to Radha and Krishna. Right, right. This is my goal, that I can serve that, that I can really, yeah, even when we, when we chant the holy name, maybe this is the inner the inner prayer, please put me in your service. Very good, yeah. I remember once we had a, a concert in the Christian church. You remember? Yes. <laughs> and uh, there we reached very many people uh, in, in, uh, from other uh, directions. Maybe we can uh, try to 
to do it again with with more people. Yes, it's one. <laughs> no. Yeah. But I don't like to disturb this wonderful satsang now because. But I like to share it from my heart because I was so in this just in the moment, and mm. I have to believe that I can share it with you. Child. Uh, be in in good hands. Be in the hands of Radha with you all together. <laughs> <laughs> no, I see me as a little child in the lap of Radha. Wow! And so, even I lost my mother breast, and she gave me the, her breast. And so, Radha is is really ready to give us what we really need. <laughs> and I'm so thankful to share it. Thank you. Wow. So nice, by the way. But we have such wonderful, good teachers who are purified enough and, and who are really advanced in the in the seva to Radha and Krishna. Yeah, sure. And I would like to say to all, we can be so happy that we have such good connections with our teachers. And I really surrender to all of you. You are all my teachers, but especially to our main teachers, uh, Sadhu Maharaj and Jayananda. Please, I'm so thankful to have your association. And I'm sure that I get blessings from you because you are, you are so, um, uh, mit, mitfühlend, uh, um, yes. compassionate. Yeah. You are so compassionate. That I I feel very fortunate in the association. Thank you. Thank you, your association. So, my dear Suniti, do you have uh, any subject today, or somebody she could share? <clears throat> no, I'm so. I feel a little bit that the devotees who wanted to share, maybe they are a little bit shy now. I don't hear anything anymore from our Shiva Prada because I, I spoke with Mahabhav. He wanted to share another poem, but I didn't hear from them anymore. So nobody said. But I'm sure you have some nectar that you would like to distribute here and inspire us. I don't have also, but uh, so if you don't mind, <clears throat> maybe we can hear from Rupa Manjari. <laughs> and uh, is there Kishori there? Yes, Radhe Radhe, Nandava to all. So I don't know. This, so this is, <clears throat> so by the mercy of our Guru Dev, so we are hearing uh, uh, many days a week, Harikata. <clears throat> so this importance of this Harikata and greediness is described Uttakarika Varari, bus 44. If you don't mind, we can, we, we could lead. <clears throat> yes, wonderful. So, Andaka Prabhu will come in two minutes. So, so like this. Could you say verse number again? Sorry. Verse 44. Utkarika Barari, verse 44. This is uh, Jara. Biharotsava, festival of water sports. <clears throat> so if Should you I have, stop yeah, you sure. Will... Yeah, if you, you know, you, you, if you could read, this is very nice. Suniti. Oh, Goddess Radhe, 
when you blissfully fight with Krishna in the water, you put the drinking nectar of the loser's lips at stake. These are kisses. When Hari wins, he eagerly comes up to you to kiss you and holds you by the neck before us. When can I see then your proudly raised lotus face externally showing anger with reddish eyes and raised? Crooked, wine-like eyebrows, crying <clears throat> and smiling at the same time. Oh, God is ready. When you blissfully fight with Mohan in the water, you put the drinking of nectar of the loser's lips at stake. So the winner can kiss the loser. That's the promise. When Hari wins, he eagerly comes up to you to kiss you and hold you by the neck before us. When can I then see your proudly raised lotus face externally showing anger with reddish eyes and raised crooked wine-like eyebrows crying and smiling at the same time Srila Rupa Goswami very clearly relishes the transcendental visions he describes here as if they take place before his very eyes. Within these pastimes, he can also relish the sweet forms and qualities of our hero and heroine. Great yearning that creates a transcendental duality of meeting and separation, bliss and anguish makes a succession of relish of transcendental duality of meet, uh, sorry, Divine makes a succession of relish of divine qualities and so to continue. It's so nice. <clears throat> and mm. then when, when we listen to this verse, that the, um, the situation when Suniti is reading, it is that Radha and Krishna are really in a playing mood like children. <laughs> no? mm -hmm. So yes. they are uh, in the meeting, and uh, but it is like uh, when when children are playing. On one hand, it is very serious because who is winner, who is loser. That is the greatest for children also in this world. And 
they have one uh, one thing one can win and the beauty is that actually both are winner because both are uh was heißt gierig greedy are greedy for the for the kiss of each other but on the other hand no one likes to lose but this gives the spannung was heißt das? This, this, gives, this is the tension between this. This makes the game uh, juicy. One can win, one can lose. <laughs> Actually, if, if there is no game, they are both attracted to each other, right? Mm. They like to kiss. <laughs> And uh, so that would be easy. To get this, no? but it's more juicy when there is a winner and a loser. <laughs> and uh, so this game makes it more attractive for and uh, for both, or also for the for the for those who are see this. Uh, this situation, this, uh, who are watching this. It makes also more, and then there are may maybe uh, two parties also. No? One party is for Radharani, one part party is more for Krishna. And so they are also in this game, they are very attracted by them, and with the full heart, they are in the game, and they hope, wow, I hope Krishna will be the winner. And the others, oh, I hope Radhika will be the winner. And because that Radhika is the loser, she becomes a special bath. This is creating in her because she is the, the from all baths, she is the, the source. And but this game, this pastime is creating some special bath in her. So, and that becomes even more attractive, Moha. And so we see that there is a, this game is creating a beautiful situation, more attention as if there are only a meeting for all those who are in the game. And this is so nice when we listen to this. And uh, here we see also that uh, Rupa is relishing this as if he is there. And if we are listening and, and visualization, what do we have this? This, this uh, picture, it is also we can be there. and. For us, we can decide on which side we are. More Radhika side or more Krishna side. So what we like. But as Manjaris, I think it's clear. Yes, and also Manjari does not join this, actually. Manjari does not join this water sports no actually manjari was was watching watching and waiting for the seva after bathing yeah so and also manjari was so much relishing this so god has Prabhu saying their mood also especially radharani's face mood and the radharani resisting No, 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 no. But same time, he's very happy inside. <laughs> Outside behave different way. Inside feel different way. This is very interesting. Nade, <laughs> nade. <laughs> By listening this, I remember 
アナンタダスババジズアシラムピクチャー。In this world, many, many devotees, sisters and brothers remember this water games and、uh, from this,、uh, from which vision アナンタダスババシ Not only Radha, not only Mohan, around the circus, and backside is the Manjari is already, and everything Anantadas Baba see and meditation.、Oh. Yeah. So, this vision will、uh, come to my heart. Jai Radha. Jai Radha, Andakaji, would you like to continue reading? It's by transcendental greed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know you are always greedy. Thank you. Rather, <laughs> rather. <laughs> Didi, please share your nectar, please. We need you. We need your feeling and love. So, transcendental greed is the engine. The motor behind Raganuga Bhakti. Without this greed or taste, it is not so easy to attain Raganuga Bhakti because Krishna wants to see himself. As the object of his devotee's attachment before he bestows pure devotion on them. This is very interesting. <laughs>、mm. This is different from Vaidhi Bhakti and Raganuga Bhakti. Because by the b h a k t i behave、uh, outside this,、uh, by the b h a k t i using this body to do something, but、uh, feeling may not proper or feeling may not enough. But、uh, this greed and taste means feeling. So, how much we feel to hear, or how much we taste about Krishna Kata, Krishna's pastime, Radha Mohan's pastime. And this, if our greed, our, our feeling increasing, then our practice is, is, is in, in good situation. But if we don't feel anything, that's a problem for our practicing Raga n u t a b a j a n So, therefore, Guru Dev stressing about our feeling. How do you feel? And also, Krishna watching, checking our greediness or attachment. Sometimes we also, in this material world, we also checking. Oh, he likes me. Oh, he has good feeling for me or for us. We checking before giving something. So Krishna is, Krishna is also checking our feeling, also our dedication, our surrendering. Also, how much hold our material attachments or false ego? Krishna also <laughs> checking us. Taste or divine greed 
is exactly that which causes attachment to Krishna. Mm -hmm. Srila Jiva Goswami said, the best kind of practice is love for and attachment to topics about Sri Krishna and his eternal companions. The best kind of practice is love for and attachment to topics about Sri Krishna and his eternal companions. This even uh, okay. mm, even this, mm, okay. without performing other devotional practices, one can attain perfection in this way. This is interesting. This Anandas Baba is saying best kind of practice, best kind of sadhana is love for and attachment to topics about Sri Krishna. They are not saying attachment and love for Krishna and his eternal companion. He's saying topics means Lira. Lira and Radha Mohan. Also, Lira, this companion, his eternal companions, we may think this is Saki and also Manjari. Especially for us, we best practice of sadhana, especially for Raganuga Bhakti, to love for and attachment to the leader of Radha Mohan, especially for us, for Manjari candidate, we try to, we try to hear, we try to attach this Manjari seva for Radha and Mohan, especially Birapa, Ksmanjari, etc. Yes, I would like to give one example. Yes. When we were a child, then our mothers and fathers and uncle and aunts, they would read to us these very, very beautiful uh, fairy tales or stories from these books. And then this is very uh, deep impression on our consciousness because we are also learning how to live in these stories. No? These stories, they always held some moral you know, contents. But what I noticed when I also now reading stories to children, they like repetition. Why repetition? Because their consciousness is so open and so eager to learn that they will repeat the story to you after a very short time. So same thing is with us. Like we are repeating the lilas, but we are repeating about the eagerness and the importances. But this is actually only to help us to come to the stage where we can naturally also live in the lila. We can be not only hearing about it, not only speaking, which is also kirtan and smaran, but also we want to enter with our self abhiman, with our self esteem. Naratam Das Thakur is saying this in uh, Rema Bhakti Chandrika. We had also yesterday this uh, subject that what we are practicing now will be what we are reaching. What is what we are listening now, where we absorb, 
in our feelings and in our minds now is where we are going, where we are, where this will be our destiny. So we have to, yeah, this, this is the practice that as a child, it was so easy. And now when we have grown up and so many conscious, you know, old stories coming or like Madhuri was telling the old karma is like showing up like purifications are coming. It is even more important to take this input. Wow. And now I got this. That is the meaning when the scriptures tell us that we has to be to live in Vrindavan to to get a bridge Basi. Become, yeah. become. That is when we are always remembering this, then we are in Vrindavan. We live in Vrindavan. This is when we listen all this past times and then we live in Vrindavan. And after all, what Suniti also said, then we are become a bridge passes. We are then uh, we have us uh, uh, in inhabitants of Vrindavan. We take birth, we get parents, uh, we, we have friends, and we are watching the Leelas. Then we are in Vrindavan. Yeah. Yeah, Dad. I want to uh, add more very beautiful um, story includes feelings and story have details. If we listen stories, we can improve our feelings and details. What kinds of lila going on and how Radha and Krishna looks like and other sakis what they are doing and what will come next. Then we know more details and not only details, but with feelings. Our Guru Dev always says like a movie. Sometimes love, sometimes sad, sometimes miss, sometimes separation. Story, why story is important? I think this Baba feelings. Jai Sri Ram. <laughs> Please. <laughs> So um, we will continue reading. So these last two sentences were, were from Bhakti Sandarbha of Jiva Goswami. This greed for hearing and chanting is not only the means not only the way, it is also the goal. Because there is no difference between Krishna and Krishna Katha, Krishna topics. Mm. They are both identical, the same and self-manifest. Greedy attachment to hearing and chanting these sublime prayers of Srila Rupa Goswami and to the lotus feet of Radha and Madhava, Mohan, Patita Pavana, <laughs> is the most sublime divine practice that will lead 
to the attainment of the desirable Lord. Yes. This is very interesting. The greed for hearing and chanting is not only means, it is also gold. Sadhana, not only sadhana, but also sadhya. Gold. This is very interesting. So, Sadhu Maharaj, I'm thinking, Guru, our Guru Dev Sadhu Maharaj is very intelligent, genius. Because for us, for our, for beginners, he tried to, he tried to share this feeling, this Harikata, Radha Mohan Kata, especially Radha Rasasdhanidi, Birapak Sumanjari. So we are listening, we are speaking, and slowly, slowly, attachment is is born and increasing our attachment and greediness. Then we want to hear more and more. Then this is, it is, we, we could say only mean to attain the goal. So therefore Guru Dev is suggesting us not only sadhana but also sadhya. It, this is the short, shortest way. Some people say, no, no, Radha Krishna Lila is, is too high. We cannot hear Radha Mohan's kata because too high. The question is, when we can qualify it? <laughs> Never, sometimes, you know. So, because Shriman Mahaprabhu, he did not describe who is qualified or not qualified. So, if we hear from Rashika Vaishnava, like Sadhu Maharaj, Slowly, slowly, our taste and feeling and greediness is increasing. So this Ananta Baba is saying, or actually Jiva Goswami Bhakti Sandharva is saying, this is hearing and chanting, especially for greediness. This is very, very important for our sadhana. This is very, very nice explanation. <clears throat> Shila Rupa Goswami weeps when the spiritual visions disappear from him. And suddenly, he gets a sublime vision of the water sports in Sri Radha Kund. After wandering through the forest, drinking honey wine and making love, Radha and Mohan became eager to sport in the water with their sakis. Like a mad elephant sporting with so many she-elephants. Nandimukhi, Kundalata and Anishta were also there to sport with Krishna. 
Radha and Mohan changed their clothes. The Sakis dressed Srimati in the tight, thin, white shadi. And Shyamasundar in a tight, thin, white garment. And they asked, what game are we playing? Water sports. Water sports. Kundalata said, place a stake for this game. Drinking the nectar of the lips. The loser must give the nectar of his or her lips to the winner. All the Sakis will be witnessing. Without really considering the consequences that both the winner and the loser <laughs> will take part in the same kiss <laughs> and the resultant public embarrassment for her. And there's actually no distinction between winner and loser. <laughs> Srimati agreed to Kundalata's proposal. But later, when she realized what she agreed to, there was no way back. <laughs> <laughs> what to do now? <laughs> oh my God. So this is interesting because Kundarata is, is kind of uh, Krishna relatives. <laughs> So Kundarata is favor to Krishna, like a Krishna Adik Sneha Taki. So Kundarata was, you know, thinking, oh, this is a very good proposal. But Srimati Radha, yes, yes. Radha said, yes, yes, that's good. But later on, she realized, oh my God, this winner and loser is the same, you know, oh my God. And she embarrassed. <laughs> No way back. Yeah. <laughs> Radha and Mohan stood facing each other. And first, they started splashing each other softly with water so that their delectable limbs became clearly visible through their wet, thin, white clothes. They became absorbed in relishing the welling, the welling sweetness of each other's lips. Sri Rupa Manjari and her friends stood on the shore and were swimming in pools of prankish fun while they witnessed this pastime. Shyama proudly beat his own chest just like a wrestler, and said, Radhe, you first splash my body with water. Does Radhika first splash Krishna? How beautiful are her eyes.
Shri Radha sprinkled Shri Krishna with the water from her lotus hands that were decorated with the jingling jeweled bangles. And this became intolerable, like the missile of Varuna, the water god, to Sri Krishna, who, desire, who desired victory. Krishna's garland of forest flowers and his big pearl necklace fell off and his stick fell out of his hands only his powerful kaustubajan was able to tolerate this stream of water <coughs> Although Priyaji showered great streams of water, she did not splash in Shyama's face or eyes, thinking it will hurt him. Sukumari, tender Radha, just pelted his chest. But cruel Shyama, desiring victory, did aim at Priyaji's eyes. Priya, see if you can tolerate this. Saying this, he laughed delicately and blissfully begin to splash the face of his Priyasi, Priyasi. Then a huge fight broke out in the water. The Sakis prohibited Shyama, saying, Shyam, don't splash our Saki in eyes anymore. Has she ever done that with you? Just see how much she suffers. But Shyam did not listen. Swamini became mad for, for, from his expert splashing. Although she is normally so grave. And she became numb. What can a tender girl do against a powerful wrestler. Shrimati turned her back on Shyam. Shyam loudly clapped in his hands and says, You're defeated, you're vanquished. Everyone remained silent. No one sang Krishna's glories. If Radhika had won, the whole Kunda would have resounded with shouts of Radhe Jai, Radhe Jai. Shyam said, you must give me my prize, otherwise I won't let you go. What you have left me alone, if you had, what you have left me alone, if you had won, would you have left me alone, if you had won? The Sakis don't say yes, and they also don't say no. Shema Sundar 
came up to Swamini, held her around the neck and said, give me my prize. How wonderful was Swamini's face then. Her eyes had become slightly reddish from all the water, and on top of that, they showed external anger. Her eyebrows were slightly frowned, showing the ecstatic ornament named Hela, an erotic sign of disrespect. The victorious hero won't let go. Shimati's face smiled and cried at the same time. How sweetly she cried with a smile. Swamini did not close her eyes completely, but kept them open slightly. How can she not look at such a beautiful Shyam? After all, Shyam said, Give me my prize, give me my prize. But Shimati didn't want to give it. She is too shy, too stubborn, too wayward. She was surrounded by her sakis. The transcendental youthful Cupid said, Give, give. And Shimati's face showed so many different emotions. This is <clears throat> very special to understand these different emotions here. Because <clears throat> actually, if we think about the place where these sports are taking place, this is Radakund, right? And what is this water made from? So if we think about this and meditate on this, then it comes crystal clear that there is no moment where Radhika has not controlled the situation. She could easily close her eyes that no water will enter. But what will happen when she close her eyes? Then uh, she cannot see Shyam. So she not close her eyes. And actually Shyam is swimming in her emotions. Because Radhakund is made of these. And this water what they are sprinkling. This is all her emotions. So she controlled the situation from A to Z. And from that, there is a smile and a cry in her. And this smile came because she realized oh, everything there. And there was no other on Krishna's side. So there was no Gopas, no Gopis even. There he was alone there. So she could see him in a beautiful situation, swimming in her own baths. And she made him victory. 
So she was very happy about this. And uh, also the, what is Kundalata? She made the prize, right? It's also nice to see that even she is on Krishna's side. She is always eager to make him happy, right? And so she creates this. Even she knows that this heavy guy, what is described here, he will be the winner for sure. But with this price, she make him happy. She knows that only Radhika can make him 100% happy. It's so beautiful no? to meditate on these topics. Different um, feelings are there as the meaning of this. No? This is not only a, what we read, a, a game. It is very uh, feels like. All right. Many variations. There, very varieties. Very var varieties are there. And we can meditate on, on different topics in this uh, beautiful uh, pastimes of our Swamini. No? But I think this, that she don't close her eyes. This is because she is intoxicated to see him so eager swimming in her own pond and playing like mad. <laughs> Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. <laughs> very much so. I feel so. This Rira is very special because now Swamini have so many emotions. Pro love, I want to see Mohan. I love him so much, but uh, I'm hesitate and anger, but so happy. Full of Baba inside. It's so tasty. Like a uh, <laughs> Like a very intense, like a, like a highest, sweetest dessert. <laughs> For Mohan, it's so special. And Komanja is what's happened. Lara's heart and Manja's heart are same means a uh, manja is also like uh, almost tremble <laughs> very exciting <laughs> like uh, maybe last week Jananda Maharaj shared about this Chaitan Char Charita Marita and Charita chapter 18 this Chaitanya Mahaprabhu cannot tolerate in this body by this intense love of manjaris. If we one day we can go more deep then if feel this love very very up we cannot uh, tolerate anymore. <laughs> Just open eye and oh, wow. Very special, yeah. So Mohan, Mohan always wanted to Radha. So Radha Kunda is Radha herself. So 
just to enter Radha Kunda, she, he became mad. Also, Radha Rani wear, Radha Rani or Saki wear white clothes, even Krishna. So, splashing the water, their limbs, their body could manifest. And then, more mud, more become more mud like a mud elephant. So, Gorasandra Prabhu saying, Radha Rani want to close eye, but uh, she does not want to close eye. She became a dilemma. Also, Saki was there. So, if only Manjari, maybe Radha Rani behave different way. But Saki also there, Saki watching. So, she cannot, uh, not so obedient because Rarita is there. Rarita was all saying, don't, don't, don't agree with Mohan. Become angry. Rarita said like this. So Radharani is inside, outside, show different way. At that time, Radharani's feeling manifest her body. Different feeling, like ornament. This is called Baba Arankara. <laughs> so La Radhara is feeling show, show us, show Mohan, very different way, different feeling mixing. So that Mohan attract that feeling. This is very <laughs> interesting. And then Anantas Baba explain this feeling also more detail. <laughs> So, externally, Radha rejects Krishna, but internally, she accepts him and yearns for him. Shripad Baladev Vidyabhushana writes the following commentary on this verse. This describes, this verse describes three Bhava Lankaras, emotional ornaments of Sri Radha. Kila Kinchita, Utamitta and Vivoka. From Ujvalani Lamani, we have quoted the respective definitions of all these ornaments. When a mixture of the seven moods of pride, desire, crying, smiling, mm -hmm. envy, fear, and ag anger arise out of joy. It is called Kila. Kinchita. When the lover grabs the breasts and other limbs, and the heroine externally displays anger and pain, but inwardly is very pleased, it is called Kutamita. If the heroine disregards the lover or object, objects that are connected with him 
out of pride and anger. Although they are actually dear, it is, it is called vivoka. Mm. Mm. The ocean of Krishna's bliss makes high waves when he sees Radha's body adorned with these ornaments of ecstatic love. Hence Krishna says, when I see Radha's face and eyes in this mood, I feel millions of times more happiness than when I unite with her. In his kinkari form, Sri Rupa Goswami sees the festival of the water sports and how enriched Sri Radha's sweet face then is with the divine emotions. Suddenly, the transcendental vision disappears, and Shirupa anxiously prays, He Devi Shri Radhika Vrindavaneshwari, O Goddess Shri Radhika, O Queen of Vrindavan, When you blissfully fight with Krishna in the water, you put the drinking of nectar of the loser lips, kisses at stake. When Govinda finally wins, he eagerly, eagerly comes up to you to kiss you and holds you by the neck. When will I then attain the topmost bliss? When I see your face adorned with the different emotional ornaments like Kuttamitta, Vivoka and Kilakinchita, externally showing anger with the reddish eyes and raised crooked wine-like eyebrows, crying and smiling at the same time in a disrespectful manner. One thing I'd like to add, because we said that the reason that Radhika don't close her eyes in this, that she will see him, his beauty. And there is another thing, why she not sprinkle water in his eyes. We, we can say it is uh, uh, some part of fairness 
could be like in a game. But in fact, what is described here, they have white clothes, right? And when this white clothes getting wet, then Krishna can see her beauty in full. And then he become mad. And this she don't like to disturb, that he can see her and enjoy this view. And if she sprinkle the water in his eyes, he will not be able to see her beauty. Because she knows this and she is always to um, lift his uh, enjoyment. enjoyment. And so she don't put the water there. And she fully is engaged in this, like this mad elephant, what you read. Mm. And uh, so we understand how intelligent and tricky and how our Radhika is. She is yeah. much more than Krishna. You see? Krishna is eager to make her wet to, to see her in this beauty, white clothes and the beautiful body of Radhika and her, her face and the wet hairs. And so she d never disturbed him in this enjoyment. Now we, I think this is important to, for us to understand why she is doing not. Very beautiful, very beautiful. Because her name is Radhika. She can give always pleasure to Sri Krishna. Is most, she can give most pleasure. Whatever he, his desire, Radharani could fulfill. That's mm. name called Radhika. So, wow. so Radhika is always, you know, behaving like this. Wow. And externally, externally, sometimes you behave different, but internally is always, you know, show us. Only the Manjaris understand this. Yes, on, only Manjari could understand. It's very beautiful. And uh, I feel how Manjari works are genius. Mm -hmm. Because Radha by herself cannot choose this thin white cloth, you know? Mm -hmm. Manjari know her heart. That's why they chose this white thin cloth. See, expect what will next. What hmm. Lada cannot do, Manjari can do. And like this makes Lada's Mohan, Lada Mohan happy. Mm. Mm. So Manjari is so great. So I want to show one buzz from Chaitan Charita Murita. Recently, I have read, and then before I could not understand. Now I may understand. This is maybe describe Manjari Baba, but does not mention anything. So I want to this Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhyarira, chapter two, verse eighty two. A Gupta Baba Sindhu Brahma na Paya Eka Bindu Hena Dana Biraira Sansare Aiche Dayaru Abatara Aiche Data Nahi Ara Guna Keha Nare Baruni Bare Translation No one 
not even Lord Brahma can ascertain or even taste a drop of this confidential ocean of ecstasy. But Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, out of his causeless mercy, has distributed this love of Godhead. All over the world. Thus, there cannot be any incarnation more magnificent than Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. There is no greater donor who can describe his transcendental qualities. So this is very interesting. First of all, A. Gupta Baba Sindhu. A. Gupta Baba Sindhu. So Gupta means like a hidden. Then Baba, Baba is feeling, loving feeling. And Sindhu, Sindhu means ocean. <clears throat> so what is Gupta Baba? <clears throat> I was think, I'm thinking this is Manjari Baba. So Manjari Baba is hidden. Saki Baba may, may prominent as a age, as a time. But this Mahaprabhu incarnation, he show us the glory of Radha Baba and also Manjari Baba. Because we cannot become Radha Rani. <laughs> So if we want to taste Radha's Baba, we have to become Manjari. Only Manjari could taste. This Lira also, Manjari could taste most because Manjari was watching as a sad person. Also, same time, Manjari serving different way. Serving the cross, so if they are coming out, they dry to the wet body and changing clothes and putting ornaments and decorations, comb the, you know, like hair, put the flower garden and uh, chandan, etc. So this, uh, and, and, Jainanda, one thing more. Please. They, now Mohan is mad. Understand? There is, he saw form of Radhika. And we all know his desire now. And he got a kiss. And now he is mad. And who will guide him? to the hidden place. Sakis? No. 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 <laughs> Manjaris will. And he will pray for this after meeting. When they separate, then to, to dry up and etc. But then there, there will be a meeting and they will arrange this. They will guide him there and tell him where she is. Because without, without Saki Manjari, Krishna's leader cannot expand. So therefore, Radha Mohan need our help, <laughs> Manjari's help. Without Manjari, they cannot do so therefore, this Manjari and Manjari Baba is so important for Radha Mohan. And one thing more about this Gupta Baba. Manjari can feel our Radhika's feeling, but Radhika cannot see how self, how beautiful she is. Radhika can see only Mohan, 
モーハンキャンシーオンリーラディカまたはマンジャリーキャンシーボースビューティー This is ハレラーマ Who is most happiest? Who is most, most blissful? And help also. This is the highest taste. Even though, Chai Chan Yamaha Prabhu eagerly want to taste it. Jai Rab. <laughs> so, our Guru Manjari, our Guru Dev. So, could you share something, Guru Dev? Very beautiful, very deep. Manjari is very important, like you say, with a they can see very confidential thing. Why not Radharani? Is place putting the water in the eyes of Krishna. <laughs> We don't want to disturb his lover. But Krishna wants how I win from Radha is impossible to me. So he is think that by who can prove today I have to win, then only way he has to press, push the eyes, water. Because I always he lose with Radharani. <laughs> And in public, he d o n t want to lose himself. <laughs> so he wants to, he d o n t like to do that, but to, to show himself that he is very powerful because he is making the show of hand and strongness. So he said, There is no way to win. Always I lose from her. But I'm only Manjari, this w a c h n a But now today is a public game. Sorry, this is Guru Dev's mute. So, today, s a k i s are there in this game. s a c h e r i s was there. <laughs> Gopis are here. All are here. And if I will win in his presence, it's very a s h a m e to me. I, I, by hook and s o o k I have to do something. Then Radharani is thinking, Are bhai, I promise, okay, before, because that time I know decide, no, no, this game is not good. When that trick me, I agree. Of how he w a n t to win, he can win today. I am defeated with my words now. So, she surrendered today not to win. Anyhow, if she w i n 
then she has to go to kiss Krishna <laughs> and she want to avoid this. So give the chance Krishna to kiss him because then he, he don't want, then he can see her three bhava. This is khatta mitha, <laughs> sweet and sour. She like inside, but outside she don't want to show. She is happy. It was sour for her for spraying in water in ice, but behind this is a sweetness that she not do that. Be always careful to his lover not to make his disturbance to him. He can see her because his desire to fulfill my lover wishes as fulfilled to him. He only has a One desire, how to make Krishna. And Manjari watching these things, that Hira Kinchit, what is the three bhav? Happy, not happy. Then we both, we both. Kuttamitta. 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 Sweet and sour. Sweet and khatta mitha. If you eat only sweet, you don't taste na. But if you eat uh, sweet and little sour also, then you like again to eat sweet. So khatta mitha. And the like, first one. First one is kila kinchita. Ah, kila. Mm. Also, Manjari can watch him. He likes it once. What is he like? Mm. When opposite a mixture, should I be? He likes it. Yeah, yeah. When a mixture. Mm. Of the seven moods of pride, desire, crying, smiling, envy, fear, and anger arise out of enjoyment, out of joy. Ah, this one. Inside is joy, but mm. out. Uh, it is this inside is so happy. Wow! But she is showing angerness. Mm. She is showing this. She kissed the Radhika. She show anger. She is beating with hand, but she is enjoying inside. Now he is a hero. My lover is a hero, Krishna. Mm -hmm. But she so for the his go sakis and gopi that I don't like this. And what they are doing, Sachari? But Manjari knows inside of her what she like. So this is the Rupanuga thing to be, which as time how you want to fix in your life, how much deep you want to go to see that.
It's also right. the gopis when they when Krishna steal butter. It's where they it's the same feeling, no? Outside they show that they don't like it and go <laughs> to yeah, and and protest to Mata Yashoda, but inside they are very happy, no? Mm. This is you mix this. No. Talking Manjari and you bring those people up. Ah, no, no, no. Oh, man. No, no. Yes. We have to always a side now. Sure. <laughs> this cannot deviate. Not wash, to wash the gopi vow, then you have no side manjari vow. You don't bother for gopi's vow, oh. then you will, you will be bloop more, yeah. bloop out from <laughs> your side vow. Never go back to gopi, never. If you say now to say I cannot go up, <laughs> me down. Rati, Rati. Now say. <laughs> but it's too much what I am telling. So you bring me down is good. Oh. <laughs> it's very nice class, but you'd give one very good thing that very hidden that Radharani never spread water in the eyes of Krishna. Wow, I was melting when you said this. Only my can watch, no mm. other watching. Mm. But only Manjari can watch. Why she is not throwing water to mm. Krishna? It's lava. Today she said, Today your chance, you can open. I cannot open everything, but today very thin clothes I wear. And when I will go in the water, then you can see me publicly. So I will not spray in your eyes. He <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> <You> understand. <laughs> Yes. Jai Guru Dev. Jai Guru Dev. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jai Guru Dev. Jai Guru Dev. Jai Guru Dev. Dandavan. Asthai bhao, my Gaurav Sundara said, Asthai bhao is important. Six inches. Never move from your place. If you move, you need not means you need more to more by ten per time. Mm -hmm. So you have to do it. Without that, there is nothing to serve clear in life. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, good day.